welcome to Loving the Scriptures. I'm your host, your friend, Joshua Odunlade, and together we will be exploring God's Word to find insights, learn from Him, and to fall more deeply in love with Him today. Let's begin. Welcome once again to today's episode of the podcast. Today's episode is quite special. Today we are reading the last verses of the book of John chapter 12. So, before we go into the text, let's say a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we say thank you. We glorify your name. We adore your name. Lord, we ask that your name will be glorified in Jesus' name. If there is any sin whatsoever, if in any way we have come short of your glory, Lord, we are sorry. We ask that you forgive us in the name of Jesus. Your word says that if we fall short of your glory, if we confess you, that you are faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we ask that you would forgive us of all our sins and that you would cleanse us of all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. The ability to go and sin no more, we ask that you grant unto us in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask today that you would open up your word to us. Even as we study your word, please open up your word to us. Please teach us your word. Please help us to see you in your word, O God. Please let it have impact and meaning in our lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So, very quickly, the book of John chapter 12, verse 44 to 50. I read, Jesus cried out, The one who believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me, and the one who sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me would not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my words and doesn't keep them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and doesn't receive my sayings, as this as his judge, the words I have spoken will judge him on the last day. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father himself who has sent me has given me a command to say everything I have said. I know that his command is eternal life, so the things that I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Okay, so in that text, we see a few things that Jesus said. Jesus said most of the things that we have read today. Firstly, verse 44, he said, Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And the one who sees me, sees him who sent me. Hmm. Isn't this interesting? Jesus says that whoever believes in him believes not in him but in the person that sent him. And we know that the person that sent him is the Father, right? So basically, whoever believes in Jesus believes not just in Jesus but also in the Father that sent him. And then he goes on to say, Whoever sees me sees him who sent me. Remember that earlier in our study, we considered the text that says that no one has seen God at any point in time, but that the Son of Man, that is the Son of God, has revealed God in his fullness. So also here, Jesus is saying that anybody who sees me, that is him, Jesus, has seen the Father, basically. Anybody who sees him has seen the Father. And there is something I want to bring out from there that has dropped in my mind. Sometimes I want to call it the principle of transparency. You know, for us to be at a point where anybody that sees us will not just see us, but will see the Father, will see Jesus who has sent us. Basically like the words of the song that says that let others see Jesus in you let others see jesus in you so everything that does not look like jesus in our lives and that we struggle with 
we keep on asking god to take it away from our lives because we know that his will for us is that others will see jesus in us that others will see the father in us that when people meet us it is like they are meeting the father basically it is like they are meeting jesus basically so i ask you today i ask me today when people see me what do they see do they just see joshua or do they see jesus how much of joshua do they see and how much of jesus do they see it's at the point when we properly when people see us and we are transparent enough to show them a glimpse of heaven that we are truly blessing them so the question again when people look at you are you a transparent glass that they can use to see heaven or are you an opaque material a material that cannot be seen through that everything they see is you and you alone i think it's worthy of consideration actually here jesus says that anyone who sees me sees him who sent me basically jesus was trying to say that i am transparent enough that everybody who looks at me will not see me but they will see right through me they will see god who sent me he says that i have come as light into the world so that everyone who believes in me would not remain in darkness remember jesus is the light of the world and when we believe in him we begin to radiate that light of his glory too now if we do not believe in him we will be in darkness and me i don't want to be in darkness i don't know about you so believing in jesus is the key to living in light believing in jesus is the key to living in light question do you believe and act according to his word you know jesus is jesus is picking these things one by one then he goes on to say if anyone hears my word and doesn't keep them i do not judge him for i did not come to the world to judge the world but to save the world then he now goes on to say the one who rejects me and doesn't receive my sayings as this as his judge the word i have spoken will judge him on the last day the words i have spoken will judge him on the last day hmm. jesus is saying that the words he has spoken will judge that person on the last day the words he has spoken so basically if we look at the word of god and we read it and we meditate on it and we still don't believe or act according to his word that means that that very word that we have received will stand against us on the day of judgment i pray for somebody listening today that these words these words that you are listening to this word that you are reading in the scriptures these words that you are listening to in church in everywhere that god has an opportunity to speak to you hmm. i pray that this word will not stand against you on the day of judgment in jesus name this word will not stand against you will not stand against me on the day of judgment in the name of jesus that they will stand for you in jesus name you know it's just like looking at a a law a law a law can either stand against or for you in a court of law what i mean is that if they say do not steal and the penalty for stealing is death if you stand there in the court of law or let me say let, let's change that let's say the, the law says that do not steal and the penalty for stealing is that you return 10 times of what you stole to the owner if somebody steals from you for instance and you charge the person to court the law will stand for you in that case because you are the one suing the person to court and you are the one seeking a remedy from the court right but how about for the person that stole in that case the law would stand against that person it's the same thing the words that jesus has spoken to us have the ability to either stand for or against us so my question to you is that in the way you live your life in the way that you believe in god 
are you doing it in such a way that the words will stand for you or against you do you believe in christ do you act according to his word these are all important questions for us to ask ourselves today it goes on to say for i have not spoken on my own but the father himself who sent me has given me a command to say everything i have said i know that his command is eternal life so the things i speak i speak just as the father has told me the things i speak i speak just as the father has told me may god help us in jesus name honestly because we see in this text that jesus is saying that all of these things that i am speaking i did not speak of my own self but it is as the father has told me that is how i speak so the question to us today is that are we speaking what the father is telling us to speak or are we just talking of our own will of our own self are we just giving our own opinions or are we aligning ourselves with the scriptures are we aligning ourselves with the word of god it's a very 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 important question for us i feel like this this text has raised a lot of questions today and as you go through your day you can just meditate on some of those questions are you in the light do you believe in christ have you received the sayings Will the word stand for or against you on the judgment day? Have you received the commandments of God? Do you speak just as the Father has told you to speak? It is very, very important. Everyone who believes in Jesus will not remain in darkness. Everyone who believes in Jesus will not remain in darkness. Let's say a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we say thank you. We glorify your name. We adore your name. For the life that you have given us, Lord, we are grateful. For the health that you have given us, Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are thankful because even though the devil tries and tries and tries to steal us away from you, we will still keep coming before you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you because even when it looks like we fall short of your word, we will still come back to you, Lord. We can come back on our knees, we can come back crying, we can come back in tears, but we will still come back to you, Lord. Because your word, your word is life unto us, your word is light to us, your word is that thing that gives us direction for our lives. Lord, we pray today that you would help us to obey your word in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray today that you would help us to live by your word in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray today that you help us to live in your word in the name of Jesus. That the word will stand for us and not against us on the judgment day in Jesus' name. Lord, we say thank you for our star prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I believe you have been blessed by this episode of the podcast. Please follow us on this platform or on wherever you get your podcast. Also, please share with your friends and family so that they can be blessed by it too. Till we meet again, keep seeking, keep searching, keep meditating on God's word and keep on loving your scriptures and keep on loving God. God bless you.